What's up guys, it's Brian again from Blake Hicker Scuba and Marina. I got a brand new package here from Orca Torch. They've actually been very courteous and sent us another lot to review. However, this review is gonna be a little bit different than the ones in the past where we've taken it out, we've got some really good footage and we've kind of merged it in. I'm actually gonna do a start to finish review with you guys today. I'm gonna to open up the package, see what comes in it, kind of give you my two cents on what I think about it. And then I'm actually taking a student out to do some deep diving in a local quarry today. And we're both gonna be using this lot. So you're gonna see it first firsthand. I'm going to be giving a, a commentated review with it as well. And then at the end of the video, I'm going to give you my, as, just as honest as I can, whether I like the lot, whether I don't like the lot, uh, the pros and cons and all that to it. But let's, let's go ahead and jump right into this. Go ahead and get it out of the box here. And of course, as always, Orca Torch sends their uh, hard shell plastic case with all their lights, which I really like. I think that's a very neat feature that they do. Um, another thing that I like about these boxes, of course, they tell you everything you need to know about the light on the side. So if you're in the market for a new light, it makes it very easy to immediately see what the light's all about. Here it tells me it's 2100 uh, looms. It's got a three hour and 20 minute run time, which I, to me, that's phenomenal. Most of my dives are anywhere between an hour to two hour long. So this light's gonna be great. Um, for that, or if I'm making two, you know, single one hour long dives, the light's gonna last both dives, so I really like. But let's go ahead and just jump right into it, see what comes in the box here. Um, first thing I noticed, it comes with its own charger, so I'm assuming it's got rechargeable batteries. I'm not sure what size this is, but it, it appears on the charger, it's gonna fit a slew of different batteries here. So that's really neat that it'll charge multiple batteries. I like that as well. Um, of course, power cords for it. And you do have a uh, just a standard wall power cord, and you're also gonna have uh, your standard 12 volt for your vehicle. So maybe you forgot to charge your dive light before you went diving, you can actually charge it in the vehicle on the way to the site. Got a little lanyard here. I never use these, so we probably won't even worry about that, but it's neat that they send a lanyard um, of course, we've got the paperwork here. We'll read through that, make sure we understand everything about it. Looks like it does come with two rechargeable batteries. These are the 26650 batteries. Um, overgrown C-cells, if you want to think of them kind of like that. But we'll get those put in here shortly. Looks like I've got a couple. I'm assuming these are the bags for the batteries. I'm not sure why they wasn't in it, but that's... A all right, and it looks like I got spare O-rings. So that's gonna lead me to believe that this is a twist on light um, and not have some type of button. And of course I can confirm that simply by there's no buttons on this light whatsoever. So it looks like an analyzed aluminum case here. It's actually kind of a bulkier light. Um, I'm hoping that the shaft of this light will still fit in a glove because I'm gonna be taking a glove to use this as well. And I'm gonna try it out with a glove and I'm also gonna be trying it out handheld. So I'm hoping the shaft's not too big for the glove. Looks like we got a little lanyard loop here at the bottom. I'm assuming it's for the lanyard. Uh, one thing that I wish Orca Torch would do, we did a review for them in the past where they um, created several different bolt snaps and double enders. I wish they'd actually send a bolt snap with their lights. I think that would be very beneficial to you as the user. Uh, most people end up tying them on anyway, so why not, you know, even if you charge a little bit extra for it, go ahead and send a bolt snap. Other than that, looks like it's a twist on light. Um, and it appears that the bottom actually twists off instead of the top. So that's something that's a little bit different than most of their lights where the head typically twists off. It looks like the whole housing twists off and then this is where we're gonna insert the batteries. And I'm going to go ahead and make the assumption that's how you're gonna turn this light on and off. So instead of twisting the head, you're actually gonna turn it on and off here at the bottom. So let's go ahead and get the batteries in and see what it looks like. Uh, according to the box, it's 20 or 2100 lumens, uh, and this is straight out of the box, guys. I'm not charged the batteries or anything. And holy cow, check that out! 2100 lumens straight out of the box. I can, I can actually feel it. I'm about two feet away, and I can actually feel the beam on my hand. That is just absolutely amazing. Um, I, to be honest, I can't wait to get this guy in the quarry to see what it's gonna do. I'm gonna be taking a thousand loom light as well to compare it to, um, just to, to be able to tell the difference between a thousand and 2100 looms. Uh, so I'll, I'll definitely be comparing that as well. But so far, yeah, absolutely. I'm in love with this light so far. I do notice here too, it's got three different heads here on the end, but there doesn't appear to be any way to adjust the lumen. So it looks like 2100 looms is all you're gonna get. Now I'm assuming as the battery starts to go, it's gonna drop in lumens, but it doesn't appear that you can adjust this light. It's just gonna be simply 2100 looms. So yeah, I'm gonna actually tie a bolt snap on. I'm gonna get a glove for this guy and we're gonna take it out with a student today, see 
see how it does underwater and then I'll give you some final thoughts near the end of the video. All right, guys, so here we are at the beginning of the dive. I've got my light. I've also got a thousand loom light there on my left hand to compare it with, uh, which we'll go over during the dive. And originally, I was going to put the Orca Torch D800 in a glove mount. Um, unfortunately, I had a little issues uh, with my dry glove, which I'll talk about a little bit later uh, towards the end of the video, the issues I had. But uh, we're going to go ahead and zoom forward here a little bit. We're going to get down to depth, and we're going to see just how good this light actually does. So here we are, we're in about 30 to 35 feet of water. Um, and you'll notice that the video is starting to get a little bit green. I purposely did not put a filter on our camera system because I wanted to also test the light as a camera light. Now the D800, unfortunately, is just a flashlight. It's not going to be the best light for uh, camera work. However, if you are needing a camera light, look at the Orca Torch D500 Plus, which is a video light. Uh, I have found that it ends up being one of the best video lights out there. But the D800 here is actually doing a very, very good job. We're in about 20 to 25 foot of visibility where we're diving at now. And that 2100 looms of the Orca Torch D800 is just absolutely cutting through all the muck and grime that's in the water. All right, now we're in about 50 to 55 foot of water here. Um, this is a car, at, or it's a, actually a little Ford SUV that is in one of our local quarry systems. This was actually used in the TV show Shots Fired on Fox, if you've ever seen that. This was actually where a particular scene was filmed, and this was a car that was used, and this ends up being its final resting place. But um, the 2100 looms, as you're getting closer, you know, and, and it's... It's a given that if you're going to be that close to an object, 2100 looms obviously is going to be way too much. But you can see there was a lot of glare there. And so that just kind of uh, reinforces the fact it's not going to be the best video light. But as a dive light in general, uh, it's definitely a great light. If you look real close there, you'll notice there's actually two beams. Uh, you're going to have your main spot beam and you're also going to have a flood beam. And that comes from the head design alone. Um, so it's going to work good to see things up close and of course far away as well. Alright guys, so now we're in about 75 feet or so, and I've actually handed the light off to my dive buddy. This is actually one of my deep diver students, and I wanted him to try it out. And there's a great example right there. You can actually see the double beam. You're going to have a spot beam and a flood beam, uh, so it's really going to be helpful to cut through all the turbidity in the water and still give you some um, good light to be able to see with. Once again, I wasn't using a filter on my camera here just because I wanted to see what the light would pick up uh, as far as video quality goes and, and though it's not going to be the best video light for you just as an all-around good dive light uh, so far I, I'm really impressed with what I'm seeing out of this light all right guys so we're still in that 75 maybe 80 foot depth range now and I'm actually going to do a comparison the light that you're seeing from the right hand side of the screen that's the D800 the one that just came in from the top of the screen that's one of my other dive lights that I use a lot and that's actually a thousand looms so I wanted to see if that D800 at 2100 looms would actually overpower the uh, thousand loom light and it's actually doing a pretty good job you can see that the thousand loom light was more just a direct spot if you will but with that double beam from that d800 it was a, it was lighting up that whole alligator there and not just the head of it all right guys now we're right at that hundred foot mark this is the bottom of one of our local quarries uh, and as you can tell the visibility is just black we maybe have a foot of visibility of that um, but the d800 is literally cutting through every single bit of that you can actually see quite a bit of the turbidity which are just basically the suspended particles that distort our vision when we're underwater uh, and that d800 is really just sticking out um, my student is actually using the the camera here filming me uh, and he's probably about I'm gonna say five or six feet away and of course I don't have the light shining back at him I have the light shining out in front of me and you can see just how powerful that 2100 looms is even in about a foot of visibility it's increasing my vis up to say that three four maybe even five foot mark 
All right, in this last clip, guys, I wanted to just see what it would do if I was to use the Orca Torch D800 as a video light. So I've actually got my camera mounted to an extension pole, and I've got the light actually mounted up underneath the pole itself in the same direction that the camera's pointing. And I wanted to see if the overall flood beam would work well enough as a camera light. Now here is where I wasn't really impressed with the D800. Although it's not a video light, I was really hoping that the flood beam would come into play and be a good video light source. Unfortunately, it's not. The good thing is or Orca Torch does make the D500 Plus, which is a video specific light. So I think it would be a lot better than the D800 in this particular type of situation. All right, so as we're coming to the end of the dive here, i got to be honest. I'm very impressed with how the light is actually working for me underwater. There are some downfalls to it, which I'll talk about at the end of this video. But all in all, I'm very impressed with the Orca Torch D800 and the 2100 looms that it gives you. As far as runtime, this dive here was about an hour long. So in general, that light stayed good for a solid hour. Um, I'm going to use it actually on another dive too and continue to test this lot, but so far I'm actually very pleased with the runtime and just how well this lot really does. Alright guys, so here's my final thoughts. The Orca Torch D800 is an awesome lot. Um, I really love the 2100 looms of this light. I mean, that thing just really punched out through the dark and it, it really worked well for me. I like the fact that it's kind of a dual beam. It is a spot beam and it is also kind of a flood beam. Um, a couple of the downsides, and I mentioned this earlier in the video that I'd talk about the downsides. I, I do, really don't want to leave those out because I think you as a consumer really need to know about it. Um, one of the biggest downsides that I wasn't impressed with was how you turned it on and off. I don't mind a light that twists the head on and off, but I didn't really like it being back here. So maybe if the, the newer version, if they make a new version of the 800, maybe if they get it to where the head twists on and off versus the back of it twisting on and off, because I found it a little difficult. Maybe it's just because I'm so used to a light that twists on and off here, and that might have been the issue that I was having. I just wasn't used to coming back here. But that was kind of a, um, a tick that I just didn't like about it. Um, another thing, initially I wanted to use a glove system. Basically a glove system just goes over your hand here um, and a light mounts into it. I like the fact that the shaft of the light is actually small enough that I can mount it here in the glove. But I didn't use it in the video and there's a couple reasons I didn't do that. First of all, typically with a glove type system, I'll always um, zip tied or tied off with the lanyard back here in the back with the glove. That way I can turn everything on and everything's gonna be fine and it doesn't actually twist the light. Well, the issue that I was having is, is to be able to manipulate that to where it doesn't say connect into my watch or anything like that and to where I could connect it, I had to pull it all the way up here to do it. So it, it's not really that big of a deal. The problem is, is I don't have much utility out of my hand at that point. If I need to grab on something, the light was actually hitting. So for the glove itself, I wasn't too impressed with that as well. Plus trying to get back here to turn that, it, it just wasn't comf you know, really comfortable for me. The other issue that I had with it is to make it comfortable, if you slide the light all the way back, this is a little, uh, or actually it's a lot more comfortable for me. And I still got full use of my hands. I can grab on stuff, I can do stuff. I still got full control of the light and still hands free. But the issue I'm having is with the shaft all the way back here, since I was wearing a dry suit and I was wearing dry gloves, this is my actual dry glove here for my suit. When I go to put this guy on, the back of the flashlight actually hits the ring of my glove. So you can imagine if I'm wearing this, it's hitting the ring of my glove right here. I still can't turn it on and off for that matter. I always gotta make sure I turn it on before I put it on the glove. And then as I'm actually operating a light, it's not actually pointing where I want it. I actually, you know, I gotta turn it constantly to get it where I want it. So I wasn't very impressed with the fact that I couldn't use it on the glove. I did like the fact that the shaft was small enough for a glove, but for my personal dry suit, it just didn't work for me the way I wanted it to. Other than that, all the bad things mentioned about it, I'm still gonna give this light a four out of five stars uh, just because it's a phenomenal light, guys. It's analyzed aluminum. It's not too heavy, but it, yet it's very, very durable. Um, I, I'm not keen on it turning on and off here in the back. I'd rather it turn on and off at the head, but 
I really still liked a lot. The 2100 looms is very impressive. Uh, the runtime on it, I ended up making two one hour long dives with us and I was very, very impressed with it as well. Um, and to be honest, after two one hour long dives, I've still not charged a lot again. This is still from the, um, the regular batteries. So I know out of three hours and 20 minutes, I use two of those hours up and that's gonna be your typical recreational dive for a newer diver is about an hour long. So even with that being said, I've still got 2100 looms. So I gotta be honest, four out of five stars for this lot. I'm very, very impressed with it. Uh, I'm actually gonna go ahead and charge this lot up just to see how the charger is gonna work. But I, I have no doubt because I've got other Orca Torch lots that I've used and their chargers are very simple. Uh, it's basically plug and play. You plug your power cord in, throw your batteries in it and you're good to go set it forget it leave it alone and and you're going to be fine it's going to charge the battery so yeah four out of five stars for the orca torch d800 would i recommend this to you as a dive light absolutely uh, if you're in the market say for a lot that can mount on your hand probably not so much check into the orca torch d550 for that uh, if that's going to be the application you look for. As a matter of fact, I'll link that up above. We actually did a review on the D550, and I'm really impressed with that light as well. But getting back to the Orca Torch D800, excellent light, four out of five stars. Definitely got my thumbs up on it, so definitely check it out. If you got any questions on this model, guys, please put it down in the comment section below. If you'd like to purchase this light for yourself, there's going to be a link in the description. Simply click on that link, and it'll take you to a purchase page for the Orca Torch D800. But guys, I hope you liked this review. I hope you liked how we changed it up. I wanted to do a more realistic, uh, real-time review for you versus just me taking it out and using it. I wanted, to, wanted you guys to see firsthand exactly what I look at when I review the light and things like that. So if you like that, give me a big thumbs up. Definitely share this video as well. But guys, if you got any questions, please put it down in the comment section below. As always, make sure you follow us on Instagram and Twitter, like us on Facebook, pin us on Pinterest, subscribe to us here on YouTube. And as always, guys, we appreciate your business. Guys, we really appreciate you watching our videos. If you liked it, make sure to give us a big thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, simply hit that subscriber button for us and make sure you hit the little bell to turn on all notifications. If you want to see some other cool videos, make sure to click these links here. They could be scuba tips, they could be diving videos, search and recover videos, or gear reviews. Once again, guys, we really appreciate it.